Welcome back to Full Circle with Mwikali. A very good morning to you. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Get talking to or sending your questions. Uh, Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Yani, this is that conversation I've been looking forward to for a bit and I'm happy that he is back again. It's time for Relationship Circle. We all learned that there's something called a personality coach. Yes? The Mark Mbogwe personality coach is in the building. Karibu sana. Asante sana mwikali. You know you blew our minds and then you just disappeared. But we're happy <laughs> you're back. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> and today you're talking about something very interesting. Yes. And just please introduce it because I'm not even sure. You just shock me every time. <laughs> How? How's my sleep? Okay, fine. Just just introduce, introduce so the topic today. today. Today we are talking about personality apology styles. Yes. This is about what to expect about when it comes to the angles of apology, which is something we are going to discover. Okay. There are angles to apology because inner strength looks different on each and every one of us. Okay. Plus how um, your sleeping patterns are connected to your apology styles. So today there's a lot, a lot in store. I will not <laughs> stop you. And today we don't have sweets. We have, I don't know what. We, we have ribbons to represent yes. just basically this personality. Okay. Once again. So uh, we are still having the same analogy. Those that leave things as they are, those mm -hmm. that fold, those that twist and those that crumple. So okay. we're really going to talk about why or the kind of expectations uh, we have with the different personalities. So okay. we come to a different zone where we find we have sensitive men as well. Okay. And the degrees of sensitivity are very different. Mm -hmm. And people really avoid, avoid av av apologies, so to speak, because at times um, people approach it from up an angle of nervousness, anxiety. Introverted men handle it very differently. Extroverted mm -hmm. men handle it a little bit differently. Also to introverted women and extroverted women as well. Yeah. So to the introverted men, today I'm going to begin with the men. Okay. So cool. those that leave um, the rappers as they are. So today I'm going to also group them. Those that leave things as they are and fold. This breed of men are introverted men. These are men who handle apologies like a marathon. Elud Kipchoge style. That means we have to begin with the genesis of the issue exhaustively. Before we come to the exodus of the situation, okay. before I get an apology from you. So these are very sensitive kind of men. These are different men from those that actually twist the rapper and crumple the, the rapper. Mm -hmm. Because these kind of men as well, these are men who want the apologies really quick. Like okay. a hundred meters dash. Mwikali, I'm sorry. This is what I did wrong. Bold. B bold style. <laughs> <laughs> there is no need to enter into the details of the issue. So in most cases, as women, we may be inclined to this kind of men. Okay. Just in case you don't really want to go uh, deep into the issues. So sensitive men now are the ones who actually, women, you can actually be nervous and anxious when you're meeting this kind of men. Okay. They take you slowly. They have to attend to everything. This kind of men are motivated by admiration. You have to begin from a point of what you like about them before you can correct them weekly. Next is accuracy of words. Please say what really matters before you really throw them off. This kind of men as well, the extroverted kind of men, these men are motivated by attention okay. and authority. It's short, it's sweet, and straight to the point. Tell me what I did wrong and tell me what I can fix. Okay. Women also handle this a little bit differently. So this is them receiving the apology. Yes. How they receive it. How they receive it. This the is more of an expectation. <coughs> yes. It's an underlying expectation. Okay. As you know the weight of the magnitude of the issue, mm -hmm. th th those are their expectation before we cross over to the sleeping patterns. Uh, and does it, sorry, uh, Mac, uh, does it, is it the same way to look at how they apologize as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. So there will also, Absolutely. even if it's their turn to apologize, the open wrapper and the folded wrapper will extensively get into details. Absolutely. When they are apologizing as well. They're okay. apologizing as well. Okay. So this is where now our primary behaviors and our secondary behaviors either blend in. Okay. See, if they are the ones giving the apology, you really expect a very detailed process. Okay. This is what I did wrong. They begin with the why. 
I would think that this is the reason as to why I did what I did before you come to the apology. So the question is, if they leave things as they are, uh, as they are, sorry, and they have an extroverted woman, yes. she needs it quick, straight, please don't give me too much of what yeah. you did. <laughs> Compatibility issues. Oh so you're going to get this man feeling frustrated and unattended to. Okay. You need it a sweet, quick, and straight to the point, and they need to explain each and everything. Allow me to explain this, because okay. even for the women, this is the also the introverted women. You see how Mikali, you may actually try to marinate the chicken. Mm. And there's some marination processes that take an hour, mm. two hours, mm -hmm. sometimes overnight. You put mm. it in the fridge before you grill it or put it in the oven. This is how the introverted women handle you. Those that leave things as they are and fold. The marination process takes time. This is the woman you have to explain each and everything. They will slow you down till you explain each and everything. So conversations can take time. In fact, we should be asking, how old is this issue? Mm. Because we can keep revisiting the same issue. This is where introverted women and introverted men have a very good relationship because they understand each other. That's true. We love details. Mm. We love the process. It's a marathon before we arrive to the apology style. Mm. So the extroverted <coughs> woman in this case, we're talking about the woman who twists and the woman who actually crumples her upper, they need also it short and straight to the point. This is a woman, just tell me what to do, how to fix it. Come with a plan. I know what she did, so tell me what we're going to do about it. If we are having extroverted women and extroverted men, they understand each other. Mm. We move quicker. The challenge is the compatibility, where you, if you're an extroverted woman with an introverted man, just know you've got to explain each and everything. Expen expectations start to clash. Yes, you may need short and sweet, but you still have to explain yourself. Yeah. So this is where now, Mikali, we rely on the seco secondary behaviors. Okay. This is where now sleeping patterns come into play. What's the connection between apologies and the sleeping patterns? What is the connection? <laughs> so what is it? So Mikali, in <coughs> apologies, <coughs> guilt has worked itself around you. Mm -hmm. So conviction will be the reason as to why you need to apologize to someone. Okay. You know you did it wrong. Mm -hmm. So your guard is low. When mm -hmm. you're sleeping, also your guard is low and you're most vulnerable at that point. This is when now the level of vulnerability is really high. Your guard is low. Eight hours sleep of slumber, we are introduced to some secondary behaviors. And by that, I mean some very suppressed emotions. See, when we are handling each other, if I mess myself up, in the primary, I have this primary polished behavior. My guard is up. Yes. Unless guilt has worked itself so high in me, now I'm having this conviction I messed up my curly. And depending on how the situation is, I may be nervous depending on what kind of woman you are. If you're extroverted, I'll just make it short and sweet. Mm. If you're introverted, then the nervousness kicks in unless you create the atmosphere for me to explain myself. So we have now to rely on some secondar secondary behaviors. This is where now our sleeping patterns really reveal our suppressed emotions. And we'll be talking about that. <laughs> Why did he just stop? Now I was here taking notes. First of all, I already know which one I am. Yes. Short and sweet. That Short is so sweet. me. I'm just like, <laughs> why don't, like, we can't be here all day. Yes. Can we just see? I'm sorry. How do I fix it? How do I that fix it? That is exactly me. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, I really do apologize. I will be quick to say I'm sorry. Yes. And what you need me to do. Absolutely. And now this is where, depending on how much time, uh, or, or rather how much time we've invested in this relationship. Yes. How many years, how many things we've crossed over mm. and how good is our relationship compatibility. Yeah. Even as an introverted man, because I am mm -hmm. an introverted man, mm -hmm. I will accept your short and quick answers because I know that's how our compati compatibility works best. But it can't be always as well. And I also need to also learn that yes. this he is an open rapper human. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That once in a while they can give him his win. Absolutely. Okay. So now this is when we know what, what kind of um, angle we will take to this apology. Okay. If we go through a crisis, I need you irresistible as a woman. You need me reliable. So mm. let me explain that. Okay. This is where, because in this zone, like I said, apologies paint a psychological shape yes. of the relationship. Uh-huh. 
this is the zone where we are beyond your beauty and my handsomeness. Yeah. I need you having the psychological skills to make me open up as an introverted man where you allow me to win some battles if you have to win the war of this relationship. Mm -hmm. We've got those micro challenges, micro struggles, and now we've got these big issues. This is how differently we apologize because now, if you are part of this extroverted woman, I know small quarrels, you are good at this. You don't want to handle the major quarrels. This mm -hmm. is where we'll have our fights. Okay. So I either allow you to really bring out what works out for this relationship or we lose it all completely. This is why we have to rely on some secondary behaviors. What do I mean? Now, our sleeping patterns for your information viewers gives a lot of information. <laughs> a lot of information. Today I'll not really be going to the details, but why? I really want to talk about okay. the general aspects. Okay. So even as I share our sleeping patterns, please note that sometimes some sleeping patterns are caused by injury, illness, or fatigue. Okay. So I just Good focused on that. the major. Okay. So we've got, um, let's, let's begin with the submarine sleeper. Yonigani. The submarine sleeper, just as the name suggests, this is the person who is under the pillow, over the blanket. They really go deep. Okay. Under the blanket, under the pillow. Yes. So they only come out for gasping the air, then they go back. Just like how the submarine is. Okay. It goes for months in the ocean, then comes up for necessities, then goes down. If you're this kind of sleeper, then you notice that you only come up for meaningful conversation. See, now Mwikali, this is you, and this is your unguarded zone because your guard is down and you're vulnerable. If you're that kind of sleeper, then I know you are only present for meaningful conversations. See, now if you're an extroverted woman, you like it short and sweet, and you're this kind of sleeper, seriously, she's only here for meaningful conversations. That is our conflict resolution style. There are those who sleep like they're skydiving. <laughs> like they're falling from the sky. <laughs> they, they're like this. You know, you either have a king-sized bed <laughs> or a king-sized mattress when you're dealing with these people. Okay. So basically, these are risk takers. It's why it's called even just the skydiver kind of sleeper. They're risk takers, so you've got to introduce consequences, not just risk. See, they want the relationship to be more of risk. Let's try some new stuff. Let's do this, let's do that. Always introduce the consequences for every risk. So we've got also those that maybe we call them the soldier sleepers. Those are people who sleep. It's like they're in a parade, standing at attention, you know, facing the, the ceiling or something. Yeah. These are people who are very good with structures. They have an expectation for themselves and of others. So they are likely to really have issues with themselves. Yes, I apologized to you, but I'm still going to struggle with it privately. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said, I'm sorry you give me the chance, but I'm still beating myself. The guilt d didn't just work for our relationship. Yeah. I'm struggling with it silently because I have expectations with myself. See, now when they wake up, the guard is high. You're not going to see this. Okay. But when they sleep, when the guard is high, they're vulnerable. You get to see some patterns and you're like, wait a minute. So privately, maybe my words were too strong. You are struggling with them privately. So there are different kinds of different kinds of sleepers. We also have the cocoon. The cocoon is the one that rolls themselves mm. with a blanket. Mm -hmm. So you know you're gonna wake up in the wee hours of the night if you're sleeping next to them and fight for your blanket mm. <laughs> mm. or have your own blanket. Yes. So basically what we, 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 we derive from this person is that eventually you're gonna face issues alone because they have a me, me in the wee wee of the relationship. So yes, we will. We are going to fight for the relationship, but there's always an I and a me in the we. These are secondary behaviors. Yes. You are probably not going to see them in the primary behaviors. Yeah. So when we are facing a crisis and we are apologizing, yes. I and me before the we. You know, we, I don't know what we are doing, but I think we are creating very Kiria. People will be staring at people at night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. And if you've figured out what your sleeping style is and even how you handle <laughs> apologies, receiving and giving, 
triple one triple four triple one please send in all your questions if you are just ever sleeping style yako no naijua when you are going to blanket you are going to make a kicho in a face come you go triple one triple four triple one that is our sms line it's just going to cost you a shilling to talk to us we'll be right back after this break with mac Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali and I can see all your questions about your sleeping positions and you'd like to know what that means. So we'll get to that in a bit. I still have Mac Mbugo in the building as a personality coach and we're just talking about apology styles, personality apology styles. And if you are an open rapper kind of person, if you fold ones or just fold nicely, those are introverted men and women and we have the other ones on a crumble, on a fanya fanya, every twist, twist. Mkondio wengine wetu tuli nino. Now how our apology <laughs> look like and what we expect and our sleeping styles where so kuna moja hapa anasema on our facebook that is switch tv um switch tv nasema nini switch tv K kenya that is on facebook i own up the fault and say i'm sorry of course with some titles like mommy baby <laughs> kisi university ever tuned in i love for apa and the lena sema uh titles are just to marinate the apology <laughs> <laughs> that person really captured uh the essence of actually how personality apology styles okay so the problem is is who they are with if ah. the titles are used for marination basically just to soothe things out before you really get to the heart of the issue yeah it means that perhaps you really use the marathon kind of style mm -hmm. we go around the issue before we come um to, to the situations so it's who you're with and what they allow most mm -hmm. who you're with and what they allow most if your partner by any chance has noticed that you really have this tendency of going around in circles before you talk in straight lines they can really actually tolerate that for some time but your sleeping pattern at times because you only talked about the folding aspect yeah. your sleeping aspect or the sleeping pattern reveals perhaps some hidden expectations that you have mm. and they are not aware of see now that's where now personality dating comes in because now you could have a very polished primary behavior which is marination as you said yeah. but your secondary behavior is perhaps even you could be that um there's another sleeper by the way Mikali. yes this is is more of a ninja kind of sleeper what <laughs> by the name basically they they handle or treat the bed like a tournament that means they will kick you they will actually do this black ba back flips you will wake up with uh, pen neck uh, neck pains and actually back pains in the morning because these are people who toss and turn and they're ambitious driven kind of people Ooh. so this is where i have a little more concentration with your secondary behaviors because they reveal your apology expectations wow apology expectations as a keyword that's why today's show is more about the sleeping patterns because they reveal a lot of that mm, mm. the suppressed emotions that's the, well. that's the most because important that's the most because this other one is marinated it's marinated uh, <laughs> this other one is also pr yes PR yes you know a and and there's just a way of you have perfected that primary behavior yeah. your guard is up we want to know how you handle the crisis hi Hmm. Good morning, Mikali and the guest. I really love the topic and I'm eager to learn a lot. Both of you look so smart. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoying the show from Kabati M. Carol. Uh, good morning, Mikali. Salimia, that guy, <laughs> Mark. Mesalimika. <laughs> Mulize, kulala natumbo means what? Kulala natumbo, when your tummy hits the mattress of yes. the bed. We want to see how you handle your hands and how you handle your legs. But intentionally, naturally, you would actually flip and turn. So you may have a bit of soldier-like attributes. That means you really are vulnerable at that position. You're looking for the safest sort of uh, way. So there's, and, and, and people who sleep like that also have another sleeping pattern of baby curls, which means they curl themselves up on the side. You could be looking for comfort. If you're a lady, communicate that to your man attention is important so <laughs> 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 
Hi, we can't glad to know my sleeping style ni your soldier style. But ni mestuka kuskia venye they handle issues. I've never known uh, thanks to you. Awo ni wagani sleeping style ya soldier style. Awo ni wale wa hivi. Awo ni wale wa hivi wanalala ni kama they are at attention. It's a parade that you work around structure. Remember you have expectations for yourself mm -hmm. and for others. So yeah. your structure system is really on point. Yes. You really need things moving according to plan. That's your expectation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the questions keep streaming in. Um to nasema uh hi mikali mimi ni wakulala na teddy bear. So mimi ni wakulala na teddy bear nimeshinda nikihago pillow the whole night. He na manisha niti nini I'm Judy watching from Mombasa. <laughs> See you see now from Mombasa. Thank you. This this is naturally how you handle this. Yeah. See, there's a lot of affection with this. There's a lot of attention, but most importantly, accuracy. People who call themselves up attention based, looking for warmth, comfort. looking for comfort. Mm. This is your secondary behavior. But primary, you could actually give the impression that you're strong. But when you go through a crisis, you get back to the comfort. See, now you, ha you need to be handled in a very easy manner. That means we have to use the marathon. If I messed you up and I'm the guy, please tell me how I can fix myself. What did I do wrong? Mm. See, I'll give you the chance to explain yourself and both of us will achieve the comfort scenario. The messiest thing that can happen if this was a relationship is being short, sweet, and straight to the point. Ah. I didn't attend to the issue. Okay. But I looked apologetic. Okay. One of the worst distances between two people who are in love is misunderstanding. You will feel misunderstood. Yes, we moved on. We addressed the issue, but not in detail. Why? Because you call up that pillow. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Mikali. My husband is the intro introverted type. Yes. Before he apologizes, it's like a marathon. <laughs> Before he accepts what he has done, it takes ages. He will start... Um, where? He will start what? Fatma, sinui basi ni nini umeandika. Uh, but at least you may, you may realize the, the type that he is. Yes. Hi, it's Jacinta from Dando. <clears throat> Mimi na apologies don't go hand in hand. Mimi kabla ni apologize inachukua an eternity. Sijui nifanye nini na mimi ni skydiver. Sai. <laughs> Sai kudos. <laughs> so you see our skydiver sleeper. Number one, you in the extroverted scenario. Yes. That means you are allergic to apologies, which is something we need to fix. Mm, mm. This 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 means that you handle an apology like a plague which means you avoid it at all cost. So the guilt in you is working a little bit differently because now it takes you a lot of time, which is what I said, anxiety and nervousness kicks in a lot to extroverted people because they want to make it quick and straight to the point and they don't understand or comprehend the damage that they did on the other side. You can have the ability to move on, but how about that spouse? How about that guy? See, he's crashing from within. The key thing is, if you're to really gather some guts and really ask them, what is it that I can do to fix? You will kind of realize how the damage was on the other side. Mm. Apology, that means that you handle an apology like it's an area of nervousness. Yeah. Handle it like it's an area for growth. That is how you will know uh, both of your compatibility compatibility uh, how it works out for okay. both of you okay yeah interesting um hello i'm wende i am that person who finds myself apologizing so fast does it mean i'm weak or i have psychological issues actually it means that you're in a very good psychological shape Yay. not psychological issues you're not weak you are strong you're strong and that's why i said inner strength looks different mm -hmm. on all of us some of us avoid it like a plague mm -hmm. some of us actually do it overdo it yes we addressed it but i'm still gonna revisit it to tell you i'm sorry mm. some of us give the right measure some of us will never even discuss about it however you can see through their actions they're saying they're sorry so in a very good psychological shape keep in mind i said apologies reveal or paint a picture of your psychological shape this is your area of confidence mm. it's your area of strength you apologize quick, it means that you want to leave things attended to, not unattended to. 
so you love solving. That now we go to your secondary behavior. How do you sleep? If you do not apologize quickly that day, if you are messed up that day, you will be that ninja sleeper, tossing and turning because so much is unattended to. Mm, okay. You'll have a different sleeping pattern because you feel I have not apologized to that person. We did not solve it. It's because you have a time frame for your apology. These are restless sleepers for that day only. But the next day, if that gets attended to, you relax, you become a different kind of sleeper again. Ooh. So, the, Go ahead. So, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I notice when I'm struggling with something. Yes. If I know there's something I haven't done or need to do. Yes. When it comes to relationships that I have with people that yes. I have not come clean or dealt with. I'll be that person. So yes, I'll have be so many person. things going on in my head. That's the day I'll be Googling how to shut off my brain. <laughs> how do I just stop? I just need to sleep. Can I just, you know? Exactly. Okay. And you see, we need now to relieve you from yeah. that. Yeah. We have to create a conversation mm. to relieve you from that. Mm. Because if it sticks too long, it starts disorienting you. And now we're going to come to a zone where we ask, how old is this issue? Mm. How old is this issue means you have struggled with it for a long time mm, yeah. as an extroverted woman, mm. which is differently from an introverted woman. If the case scenario was different and you are an introverted woman, yeah. these are people now who start crashing from within, apologies start fading off, they do not want to attend to the issues. Is because now you work best, your psychological shape is we solve things as fast as they happened. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hey, Mikali, I wanted to ask if there's a distinct difference between those who leave things as they are and those who fold. Because okay. you've sort of like put them together yes. today. Yes. Uh, but they want to know if there a distinct difference between the two. Absolutely. This is where now we come again to your primary and to your secondary personality. Mm -hmm. Now, not behavior, personality. Okay. Because your primary personality behavior might be that you leave things as it is. Then your secondary personality trait is your fault. See, now this is a very interesting twist to it. Yeah. You are a very deep introverted person. So now when a crisis comes, you will be more introverted than you need to be. Oh. This is where we start discovering some things we didn't know. Okay. We're even wondering, did you really break that far? We didn't know how this damage was, and this is the problem. Um, emotional issues hit as hard just as physical issues. We may not even have a medication for that, wh mm -hmm. which is why we need to talk about it. So t in regards to your question, there is a distinctive difference if your secondary personality is an extroverted trait. Mm -hmm. But just in case you want to know th the difference is simply because you leave things as it is, which means sometimes you may be word insensitive you could be hurting people in a way you don't know Ooh. if you are distinctly uh, you leave things as as they are if you fold precisely it means that you handle apologies with a bit of stubbornness yeah because now you want things to be very specific to your taste tailored in your way handled in a certain way mm -hmm. so because of that thin slicing or folding you want things in a specific way it's why some people feel i apologize to her i apologize to him but they were very hard-headed. I took a lot of time. And that's why in a, li in a uh, light shell, we might also say you might feel that you were never apologized to. Okay. Because you needed it in a specific way, the marathon way. Ooh. And remember, it's att admiration and accuracy, which means the whoever handled you did not really begin from a point of what you do good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, Wikali and Mac. I'm Nelly from Naivasha, and I must say I'm intrigued by the conversation. I consider myself an introvert. I like very few details in an apology, whether giving or receiving it. I tend to sleep on my side with my legs, with my legs bent a little or on my belly with one leg bent. What <laughs> kind? The, the details. The details. <laughs> what kind of personality would I match with? Match with? Yes. That is very intriguing. First and foremost, Nelly, it's amazing that you are attending to details of your yeah. secondary uh, behaviors, mm. especially while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Now, remember I said also about understanding 
how you are and apology expectation. Yeah. Which means you can have dual. See, you said sometimes you sleep on your belly, sometimes you curl up. This now introduces what we talked about, the cocoon sleeper sometimes, and sometimes you're that baby. Matching up, um, when you talked about personality matchup, these are very intriguing. You might actually feel very comfortable with an introverted person, but an extroverted person who sometimes attends to the small quarrels, since you like things short and sweet. This would be the most ideal guy as a primary behavior because they are the ones who find the sweet spots of the quarrels, deal with them real quick before they escalate. Which is why, and, and they're going to do it in a humorous way. Mm. That's why it's very, um, it's easier to address to this person if you're the one who messed up. Mm. If they're the ones who messed up, <coughs> this will be handled in a way that you may feel they're not serious about the apology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, Kali, good morning. What if you sleep sideways? Then when you are angry, you sleep on your belly. <laughs> I am watching from Roiro. <laughs> watching from Roiro. This is one thing that uh, I talked about the secondary behaviors. Yes. See, that means you have suppressed emotions that were unsolved within the time frame you expected. Mm -hmm. So that's what is actually bothering you mm -hmm. while you're sleeping. You're even likely to sleep talk. That means you will actually verbalize mm -hmm. what you felt unattended to. These are the people who actually sleep talk Mwikali. Yes. And you kind of wonder. They are even arguing. They're having a monologue as they argue. So it means that there was so, there was so much unattended to. Mm -hmm. That means please verbalize it, this when you wake up and when your guard is on. Oh, God. You have so yeah. many questions. I don't <laughs> even know how you're going to handle this. Um <clears throat> Uh, hello, um, Mikali. I'm Rose from Nairobi. You look nice today. I can't find sleep without covering my head completely, but it's usually over the pillow. I also turn a few times, and if I'm sleeping next to someone, I have to cover them from time to time. Wow. Cover them? <laughs> That's new. You're very caring. That's very new. Very caring. <laughs> so you are the submarine sleeper. Yes. You are in tune with meaningful conversations. Mm -hmm. If there's anything that matters to you, it's not good to have a long vibe for this kind of people. Mm -hmm. Just have the meaningful conversations. I'm actually intrigued. You know, this is where now Mukali, the coach, becomes the student. Ah, because okay. we learn some new things yes. depending on personality. Yeah. See, so you just don't cover yourself. You even cover someone else. Yeah, yeah, I love your compassion and how it works out. Mm. We just need a little bit of that coming your way as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Because if you do that, yeah. when they are vulnerable as well and they don't know, Yes. See, they wake up in the morning and they're like, ah, I covered myself. You I didn't cover well. yourself. No, I Someone did. covered you. <laughs> okay, so as much as you're giving, give some to yourself. They need well. a lot of compassion Okay. as well. Hi, Switch TV. I'm Yvonne watching from Machakos. Okay, I'm that kind that Atta Nikisema, sorry. I'm still not satisfied such that Atta Kimiambi Akosawa na feel kuyongelelea again and again. Because bado hiyo huwa inanisumbua akili sana ata kama ni makosa yangu. Exactly. Yeah, I think you mentioned. I mentioned that as yes. well. Yes. Um, I'm Sam Samantha, which type of apology style do a person, do a person who always, when we argue, asks for time and break in a relationship. The so every time there's an argument, let's take time out. Let's take a break. Now, the problem is if you're handling someone who falls. Mm-hmm. Because once you say a time off, there are people who love handling things while they're hot. Okay. The philosophy here is heat it while it's hot. Yeah. We don't take a time break. We handle it as it comes. Time break for me means unattended to. So this is where now we have to choose mm -hmm. which battles we will win okay. and which wars we will win. If that is your philosophy, then it might work for a couple of times. Then revert to their own form of apology style. Yes. Because if they love handling things while they're hot, it means that they want to deal with this right here, right now. And actually, you're going to guard your words in the process so that you can move on to the next thing. See, it depends with the attachment style. If they feel you really matter a lot to them, then they do not need to be in the bad books with you. It's a matter of dealing with the suppressed emotions mm -hmm. urgently. Okay. Urgently. So every time you take a break, to them it means how long do I need to stick with this because it's burning me up for a while and I do not need to be in this state. Remember, psychological shape. So 
I know sometimes if you want to win the war, let them win the battles as well. Okay. Okay. Our oh, time is up. Our oh, time is up. <laughs> I see all your messages, guys. I do. There's so many. And the one thing that I really love is that they are understanding and they're looking back at how they awesome. sleep. That's great. That is coming out a lot. Yes. Away even from the rappers. So they're going that to the subconscious. To the subconscious bit, part. Which is beautiful. How can people awesome. get in touch with you directly? For all your questions, Mark answers. Yes. You, you do, right? I do. <laughs> okay. I do. The, social media. All right. Social media. That is Mark Mbogwa in Facebook. Mark underscore Mbogwa in Instagram. Please also get in touch, in touch with me. That is uh, in Twitter at Gifted Purpose and also in YouTube. That is Mark Mbogwa. Okay. Yeah. Akia Santi Sana. You're welcome. Sana, Ukali. Sana, Sana, Always. Sana. Cecilia from Kiambu, I see. <laughs> I see. I do. Our time. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go too far. This is Full Circle with Mikali.